leading into Friday it was pretty consistent with what we wanted and I believe we, we crossed our T's and dotted our I's. I was very confident on leading up into Friday. Our kids didn't play bad, you know, we just didn't play good enough to win. But, but due to last week's uh, one point loss at the end of the game, the kids are, uh, has developed an, an attitude and we're concentrating more on concept. We, we, we're paying attention a little more to the smaller things. Um, the kids are asking more questions. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty much confident in this week. I think this week's preparation was probably a little more intense concept-wise than it was last week. play Lugov, they had about 14 plays in the first half, and they had a plethora of points. So I think this week, if we can tackle and, 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 and contain the big play, we'll be fine. It is a total mindset. Winning on Friday does not just happen. You've got to show up on Sunday. You need to show up on Monday and win at practice, win in the weight room. Put in work, and winning comes naturally. Any questions? No, sir. 
place we were this time last year and kind of buying into our culture and what we're trying to do here and that's kind of our mindset right now we're getting ready for LR everything's going to be focused on them it's, it's, a, it's a good matchup they're both they're, we're both coming off of uh, coming off of losses last week so it should be on uh, should be good football <laughs> As the head coach is making sure that we keep the intensity up, uh, the attention to detail stays high. The first difference is it's 103 degrees out there right now. So we, again, we're stuck on the inside in the, in the PA. Uh, but you know, when, when, when those things happen, we have to make sure that we keep the intensity up. Uh, you know, they still have to understand we're still practicing. Uh, we, we're going to have to play our best. We're going to have to, you know, see what what LIT wants to show up. You know, if it's going to be ones that's going to slough through the game and make the game harder than what it has to be, uh, then, you know, we might not get the result we want. But if we're taking on all cylinders and playing good football, I think, I think we should be okay. I hope a lot. I mean, uh, even though it's, it's cool because we don't like to be inside because it's limited some of the things that we do, but we can work on the mental aspect of the game and understand where we at. Um, it gives the guys this banged up a chance to heal and they actually can participate in practice being that we're inside. So, I mean, it's a plus. We, we do the best of what we can, you know, we make, we make adjustments. Last year, and then we were able to add some kids um, from the building. They kind of added some depth in some kind of way. So that that was like unheard of. You know, so we're taking some steps there um, for us as a football team. <laughs>
But we definitely want to be competitive. We want to be a disciplined football team, and we want the community and the school to be proud and the product that we put the football field. Amen.
in the, the current score.
more. No more. Game up one. No more. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. That's a game ball. Let me, let me get a game ball for you. Everybody here is the reason why you got I don't get it way easy now. He bought here called me $120 a ball. So if, for me to get this away, you know he worked his ass off for it. All right? Coach Canel. Yeah. 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 Hey, Jay, real quick. Real quick. Hey. Hey, y'all, man. Let's fix this thing, man, and then run this off. I, I told y'all sports are wrong before we get real problem. We are. Problem. I told y'all that's what's wrong. Let's build on this man and just continue to be a problem. Let's go STB on three, STB on three. One, two, three. STB! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hurry up. Let's get out of here.